I'm not saying that you should try to look wealthy or expensive. I'm just saying that you can when you want to. And that's the cool thing about style. You can use it to send certain signals to other people. And sometimes it makes sense to put forth a certain image or to project a certain status. For example, if you're in sales, it would behoove you to look successful. If someone is supposed to trust you to guide them through a big purchase like buying a car or a house, they want to know that you're good at what you do. How do you tell if someone's good at their job? Well, you see how much money they make. In his book, Status and Culture, author W. David Marks says, Money can also function as a vibrant symbol for other virtues such as intelligence and hard work. Now, I understand that money is a flawed indicator, but in general, we do associate wealth with competence. Here's the cool thing. Even if you don't have a lot of money to spend on clothes, you can still look expensive. So if you're trying to fake it till you make it, this video is for you. First, a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes it easy to eat healthy and reach your nutrition goals. They do this by delivering fresh, never frozen, tasty meals right to your door. The best part is there's no prep needed. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. Factor is actually owned by my favorite meal kit delivery service, HelloFresh. They're both great, it just kind of depends on what you're in the mood for. If you don't want to do any cooking, Factor is a great choice. They offer keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and protein plus meals, all of which are prepared by gourmet chefs and approved by dietitians. My favorite Factor meal this week was the creamy Parmesan chicken with broccoli and tomatoes. With 41 grams of protein and only 12 carbs, it was a tasty, lean meal perfect for right after a workout. I also enjoyed the jalapeno popper burgers with cauliflower rice, which was also packed full of protein and had a nice kick to it. And these were totally hassle-free meals. There were no dishes, no cleanup afterwards. Factor updates their menus weekly, so there's always something new to try. They also have plenty of add-ons and snacks and smoothies. Now you can either choose specific meals or you can let Factor handle that for you based on your preferences, which is what I do. But my favorite thing about Factor is just how easy it is to get a meal on the table, a healthy meal on the table. You know, it's faster than delivery or takeout. If you want to try Factor for yourself, head to factor75.com or click the link below in the description. Use the code MODEST50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. One more time, go to factor75.com and use the code MODEST50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Okay, let's get into the video. Now, you might think that in order to look expensive, you have to dress head to toe in designer clothing. This isn't true. In fact, this sort of conspicuous consumption can backfire. It can make people think that you're trying too hard, which is true. And yeah, you'll often see the new rich signaling their newfound status with these overt displays of wealth. But if you look at old money, it's all about understated subtlety and patina. And that's what we're going for here. Less sizzle, more steak. And that'll be a theme throughout this video. So tip number one is to wear subdued colors. The simplest thing you can do to look wealthy is to avoid bright, flashy colors and instead wear subdued, subtle colors. I'm talking about neutrals like off-white and navy and non-colors like black and white and gray. These hues don't scream, look at me, but they do command attention in a subtle and powerful way. I mean, there's a reason that black tie is black tie and not neon pink tie, right? And of course, you can always add more color with a statement piece or an accessory, but you can't remove color if your shirt is bright red. So when in doubt, when it comes to color, less is more. Tip number two is to add texture. Now there's sort of a correlation between cost and texture. What I mean is, lush, interesting fabrics tend to be more expensive. For example, wool has more texture than cotton, and cashmere or alpaca has even more texture and depth than wool. You know, for shoes, suede is more interesting than rubber. And high-end leather develops an attractive, complex patina over time. You know, cheap leather just cracks and deteriorates. So if you want your outfits to look more expensive, try to add texture. It doesn't mean you have to buy sweaters made from 100% baby unicorn hair. There are plenty of affordable options for merino wool and even cashmere, you know, from brands like Everlane and Uniqlo. You can also just opt for more interesting fabrics, like instead of twill, like your normal chino pants, 
try corduroys. You know, instead of leather boots, go for suede. Instead of regular cotton, try waxed cotton. The cool thing is you really can't go overboard with texture and you can mix different textures for really interesting combinations. So feel free to go crazy. Tip number three is to choose patterns carefully. So another way to look expensive is to avoid large, bold patterns and instead stick with solid colors and more subtle, small scale patterns. Plus, if you have enough texture, you really don't need patterns. But if you do like patterns, try to avoid things like plaid and gingham. They're just so commonplace. You know, there's a whole Instagram account dedicated to that J. Crew gingham shirt. Gingham and plaid are just associated with middle class dudes. I'm not saying that's a bad thing or, or that plaid is a bad pattern, but it's not gonna make you look rich. So if that is what you're going for, try to avoid those common patterns and go for something like a small scale hound's tooth or subtle stripes or an all over print like floral. But you can never go wrong with solid colors, especially if the fabric itself has some interesting texture and pattern to it like chambray or corduroy or linen. Tip number four is to avoid visible logos. So aside from some new money, most wealthy people don't really try to advertise their wealth. Well, they do, but not blatantly. Also, counterintuitively, most expensive clothing, even designer clothing, doesn't have logos all over it. In fact, there's a direct correlation between price of a garment and the size of the logo on it. For example, look at the Ralph Lauren Corporation. They have a bunch of different brands. Their lower tier brand, Chaps, features huge logos on everything. Contrast that with Double RL or Purple Label, which is Ralph Lauren's higher end brands. I mean, they're 10 times more expensive than Chaps and they very rarely have any visible logos. So if you do wanna look expensive, avoid visible logos at all costs, especially the big ones. The occasional small tasteful logo is totally fine. Just don't go overboard. Tip number five is to mix formalities. Try mixing formal and casual elements or garments in the same outfit. It's the old high-low trick. I think this works best if you add one dressy piece to an otherwise casual outfit versus the other way around. For example, a dressy raincoat with a comfy athleisure type getup, or a wool overcoat with jeans and a hoodie. You know, put on a sport coat over a casual crew neck, drawstring trousers and sneakers. Just be careful trying to do this in the other direction. Uh, like some people can pull off wearing sneakers with a suit, for example, but it's not easy. Tip number six is to accessorize, but not too much. Coco Chanel famously said, before you leave the house, look in the mirror and take one thing off. Now she was talking about jewelry because she was speaking to women, but this applies to men too. When it comes to accessories, usually less is more. Like for me, I like wearing my wedding band, my watch, some sunglasses, and sometimes a simple bracelet on my other wrist. Anything more than that starts to feel a little bit too attention grabbing and blingy. I mean, even if you just wear one accessory, like a nice watch, that's enough. And if you can't afford the luxury tier of accessories like watches, that's fine. My advice would be to buy the highest quality that you can afford at a given time and make sure to buy something you like. Never get into credit card debt for the sake of fashion. Okay, that's not gonna make you look rich, but it will make you actually poor. And finally, my last tip is to adopt a uniform. In other words, wear the same stuff over and over. Have a uniform, have one or two staple pieces that you just wear all the time. I'm not saying you have to go full Steve Jobs, but I'm not saying you shouldn't. The point is, wealthy people aren't buying a whole new wardrobe from H&M every month. They're usually spending more money on higher quality pieces, and they're wearing them a lot. They're not thinking about what new outfit to put together every day, probably because they're more focused on, you know, making money. So wear the same jacket every day. Wear the same watch every day for 10 years. Wear some version of the same outfit four times a week. And once you do settle on certain things that you wanna wear a lot, upgrade them over time. You know, you only need one nice pair of leather sneakers. You only need one good pair of go-to sunglasses. And the added benefit of this approach is that it makes getting dressed a lot easier because you have fewer decisions to make. One more bonus tip, don't skimp on your haircut. If you look at photos of celebrities on the red carpets or even just paparazzi pictures of, you know, rich people running around LA, they always have nice haircuts. Through my work here on YouTube, I've been lucky enough to visit a couple of higher end salons. And let me tell you, when you go to someone who really knows what they're doing and they can look at your face and head shape and give you a haircut that really flatters your features, 
man, it's a game changer. And this is one thing that a lot of wealthy people do. They spend a little bit more money on their haircuts. So if you've been getting that $15 haircuttery haircut for the last few years, just go to a high-end salon at least just once, get the consultation, and I think you'll learn a lot about which hairstyle works for you. If you follow just a couple of those, you're gonna look like a million dollars regardless of what's in your wallet. Thank you to Factor again for sponsoring the video. I'll link to them down below in the description along with the discount code. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. So leave them down in the comments section. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.